some of our prayer warriors to join us in prayer on this national prayer day. I've asked the elder Barbara Taylor, the pastor of the House of God Church in Hollyville, South Carolina, come and pray for our church. I've asked the elder Daryl Anderson out of New Charlotte, North Carolina, Come and pray for the sick. I've asked the elder Tammy Butler out of Indianapolis, Indiana, to come and pray for our nation. And I've asked out of the west coast of Florida, the elder Renard Grant, to come and pray for our world. I'm going to ask you to sit in prayer for these ministers as they come lifting up holy hands unto the Lord, that we might get a prayer through for the sick and shut in a prayer through for our nation, for our land, for our world. We pray for everyone. Following these prayers, I will be back with the conclusion of today's service. It is an honor to be with you on this National Prayer Day as we send up prayers and supplications to a Father for our church. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you in the most humblest manner that we know how, God. Lord, we come before we ask you for anything to say thank you, God. We thank you, God, for the house of God, which is the church of God, the pillar and ground of the truth, without controversy, God. We thank you for your divine protection, God. We thank you, God, for your leadership, God, how you lead your God, your wisdom, God, how you watched and protect us, God. We thank you for your son who shed his blood on Calvary's cross that one day we would have a right to the tree of life. And now, God, we come with petition, God, with prayers and supplications for your church, God, your house, this National Prayer Day, God. Lord, we come to you in turbulent times, God. A time when the enemy, God, the adversary, the devil, has launched attack against your house, God, your church, your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. But we know that it is a failing endeavor, God. Because we stand in your word knowing, God, that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. We know that we stand, God, your house is built on a solid foundation. That rock is Christ, God, and it will never give away. We thank you, God, that although the walls may tremble, the walls may shake, we know that your house will never be removed, God. Help us to stand, God, in our most holy faith, knowing that the church is not the building, God, because your word declared that one day there would not be one stone left upon another. But help us to realize, God, that we are your church. And if we are in Christ and Christ is in us, we shall never be moved. Like a tree that's planted by the river, God. We shall not be moved. Help us to stand in your word, God. Help us to stand in Christ, God. As the righteousness of Christ, God. The preparing bride of Christ. Help us, God. We know that one day when this church, your church, is sufficiently prepared, will come back and capture her away the marriage supper of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus 
And while we wait your appearing, God, help us to wait in you, God, not as a church that have no hope, God, knowing, God, that you are our, you are our propitiation, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere the house of God church is established, God, help us to be of one mind, God, one understanding, God. Help us to learn how to wait on you, God, and wait in you, God. While you do your perfect work in us. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, God. Help us not to faint, God. Not to worry, but trust you, God. Knowing, God, that you have the answer. While the world look for answers, God. The answer is in you. And you gave us the answer in our ability. And the opportunity you gave us, God. Pray. And today we found the answer. We've learned to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And you declared, Christ, that anything we ask, Father, in your name, it shall be done. So we stand humbly, but we do come asking. God, cover us with your blood. Keep us covered from the hands of the enemy, God. That the world can do us no harm. The enemy can do us no harm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever attack is forged against your house it is a failing endeavor in the mighty name of Jesus. We trust you, God. We believe you and we stand in your word. And we ask as you said to ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God, we come before you this morning, God, with bowed heads and humble hearts, God, we praying for the sick all over this world, God, we're praying that your hand would come down and touch each and every one of those that are going through sickness in their bodies right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray, God, because we know that there is no other that can heal us, God. You said that I am the God that healeth thee, and we believe that you are a healer, God, and we're waiting on you to come to our rescue. God, we ask that you would just let your spirit, God, just hover over the sick, God, those that are in pain, God, those that the doctors have given up on, God, and those that the medicine just isn't working anymore, God. We know that you're able, God, to just let your anointing, God, begin to fall on each and every one, God, in every city, God, in every house, in every village, in every country, God. We're praying now that your power would come down, God, and just begin to heal your people as never before, God. We need you right now, God. There's no other way we can make it without you, God. There's no one to turn to but you, God. Oh, God, heal. Be a healer right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Begin to just turn situations around. Turn problems around in their bodies, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Relieve your people of not only the coronavirus, but every sickness, God. Every sickness that has come upon your people, God. And we know that it's not your will for us to be sick, God, in our bodies, God. You made us. You know all about us, God. We're waiting on you, God. We're waiting on you because we believe you, God. We'll forever wait on you because we believe you. God, come to our rescue. Do it right now, God. Each and every one of those in the hospitals, God. They're dying by the thousands, God. And only you can stop this plague, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Fear is striking people when they begin to get sick, God. Or get a call for a fever. Fear is striking them because of this sickness that's plaguing the land. God, we thank you. We believe that you are a healer. 
And we thank you for doing it, God. And we forever give you the praise and the glory. And the honor belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. America Land it. I love Father God in the name of Jesus we come to you right now praying for our America. nation Lord God that you will look on each and every person that you have placed here on this earth Lord God we just ask right now that you will touch children that you will touch families lord god that you will look on those that are in the nursing home and those that are in hospitals across this entire nation lord god that you will look on those that are in the white house and god that you will look on those that are on wall street god that you will bless those that are in the neighborhoods god that are most underserved right now lord lord god that you will bless those that are in poverty and lord that you will raise them up that you will provide them economic relief for their situations Lord God, we ask right now that you will look on fathers, that you will look on those that are incarcerated, and Lord God, that you will bless them, that you will bring restoration, and Lord God, that you will bring renewal. Lord God, we ask right now, Lord, that you will continue to bless minority businesses and women-owned businesses and small businesses, God. Lord God, that they will be able to be resilient in the midst of these tough times. God, we ask right now, Lord, that your Holy Ghost power will go throughout this land. Lord God, God, that every knee will bow, that every tongue will confess. Lord God, that they will call you by your name. Lord God, we ask right now that though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that we will fear no evil, God. Lord God, that you will remove the spirit of fear, that you will allow us to be confident warriors. Lord God, on the battlefield for you. Lord God, we ask right now, Lord, that you will act, allow us to be able to operate in patience, God. You already told us to count it all joy when all kind of tests come our way, that the trying of our faith work of the patience is when patience has had its perfect work, that we will be entire wanting nothing. And so God, we come to you right now, Lord, in a place of patience, in a place of peace. Lord God, knowing that you are able to do all things that are exceeding and abundantly above what we can think or ask. God, that you will just have your way. Lord God, that we will be able to rest at night. Lord God, that we will be able to pray with our children. Lord God, that we will be able to go to our jobs. Lord God, that we will be able to go to our schools. Lord God, we just ask right now that you will allow us, Lord, to be able to hear your voice, that we will be still enough in this season, God. Lord God, that we will rest in you. In your precious and holy name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah, oh. Oh. He's got you and me, brother, in his hand. Father, first we say thank you. We thank you because you are a great God. Even in the middle of this calamity, even in what looks like a crisis, you are still God. We thank you because you are God and there is none like you and none beside you. Father, right now we pause just to pray for our world. We pray for countries all across our world, governments, nations, those who are impoverished, those who are riddled with sickness, those who feel the weight of the economic collapse. Father, we pray that you will begin to heal our land. Father, we pray according to the word of God, knowing that if we call you, you will answer. So right now, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would come and do a miracle across our globe. Lord, manifest your miraculous works with He's miracles, signs, and wonder. Lord, do it in Africa. Lord, do it in Italy. Do it in China, in Canada, across our globe. Father, we pray that you would run this sickness off of our globe in the name of Jesus. Lord, give us ingenuity. Give us insight and give us strategy. 
Father, after we've done all that we could do, after we've said all that we could say, Lord, it is our sincere prayer that you would do the rest, that you would send miracles, that you would deliver, that you would set the captive free. And Father, we stand on the promise of your word that if I be lifted up from the earth, you would draw all men unto you. So Father, we pray that you would draw every man, every woman, every boy, every girl closer to you. Lord, as we lift you up, even in the middle of this pandemic, Lord, we pray that the sin sick soul, red, yellow, black, and white, is drawn back to you. And Father, we'll give you all of the glory and all of the praise in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. We want to thank God for these wonderful, powerful that have gone up to worship to praise and to give thanks to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We want to thank all of the ministers of the great Elder Barbara Taylor, Elder Darrell Anderson, Elder Tammy Butler, and Elder Rita Bush. May God bless these powerful prayer warriors. May the Lord be with them and keep them. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, rest, rule, and abide with these disciples. Ask these blessings in the name of the Father. We ask these blessings in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen.